So she reminds me that I'm still under oath. I remind her she's still under indictment. <gasps> you said this to Judge Gavaletti? Yeah. <laughs> then she says she's gonna hold me in contempt. I, I want to tell her I already hold you in contempt. <laughs> <laughs> But you decided to quit while you were behind, right, Cardigan? Yeah, well, that's the story of my life. Yeah, well, I'll read about it in your memoirs. Mm. Want another cup? No, no, I gotta go. It'll keep me up all night, and I've got to testify in front of Capaletti tomorrow. <laughs> hey, do me a favor, okay? Ask Capaletti if she's ever had to spend a night in jail. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you could use a sleep. Yeah, I'm on my way. Night. Hey, take it easy. He's a game to slip. Hey, he's a new pants. You want to talk? Oh, what are you? Sometimes you amaze me, Nika. What do you mean, sometimes? Jake, what happened? I'll get a medic. I don't want a medic. I need to talk to Sid. Come on. Get up. Did you say Sid? Yeah, I gotta find out what we were up to last night. Jake, you were with me last night. Who the hell are you? Look, maybe you better just sit down. No, I don't want to sit down. I want to talk to my partner. Jake, you reached a number. Sid is dead. Yeah, right. I just talked to him a couple hours ago. No, I don't think so. Where's Bascom? Bascom's in the Sahara. He's unreachable. You know this, Jake. What is going on here? 
What's the last thing you remember? I mean, I... Sid dropped me home. And, uh... Beth was all dressed up. She was ready to go out. Jake. Beth. Beth what? Is there any clues at all? No. Uh-uh. I, uh, I just woke up in some alley. Some guy was eating a candy bar. Maybe we can run a check on that. DNA traces and saliva. I'm on it. I'll call Dr. Kelly down and take a look at you. Okay. We'll get you through this. Hey. Listen, I'm your partner now, and you've been nothing but trouble since day one, so I'm kind of getting used to this. Okay. Party escaping is bad enough. Cardigan is an ex-cop. He'll find us. We'll find him first. We better find him soon, you know, because his piece of the puzzle will be lost in dimension by tomorrow. I've got my men on it. They can't hurt him. Do they understand that? They can't hurt Artie either. I think my boys are aware not to damage goods worth megaplas. Well, they kind of got away, Mr. Lobo. Got away? Cardigan is a security agent. He'll track us down. We've got to fold our tents. This isn't working. I was hired to do a job. I did it, and I want my money. Now, is that clear? Payment on demand, and I'm getting out. You're not getting out. You're in. In deep. Oh. Oh. Should I show you with my fingers oh. how deep? No. What? No. You do good work. Stick with what you know. Hmm? Yes, of course. In 24 hours, Cardigan turns into brain salad. You don't find them. You're the dressing. Looks to me like your memories were lifted out whole. How can you see that? Cosmos keeps your spectral EEG on file, updated weekly. The last 11 months of your map are missing on today's tracing. Memory rustlers. Excuse me? Cases have just started cropping up. Suppliers selling low-res recollections, smells, tunes. Buyers download somebody else's life story and then remember those good old days. Victims go through a kind of mental fragmentation. Their memories disconnect. Their minds go. How long do I have? As I mentioned, legitimate labs and unregulated street shops are into memory extraction. How long do I have, Doctor? 24 hours. Maybe less. I ran the DNA analysis on that candy wrapper you found in the alleyway. Got a positive ID. Your candy man is one Artie Mac. 34, no arrests. But here's a police report that's still warm from the coffee machine. Found wandering confused last night. Admitted to county hospital. Sounds like you and Artie Mac were at the same party. Yeah. Sophie had less to drink than I did. <laughs> So, what are we, uh, like, good friends? We're not having sex, if that's what you mean. Oh. What are we having? We talk. We're good talkers. What do we talk about? Uh, you know, cops, robbers, donuts, life, parking problems. Mm. So we're buddies, huh? Yeah. We're buddies. Artie, 
How are you doing? Yeah, I think maybe we went through the same piece of hell last night, partner. I'm Jake. I was just thinking about Danny's birthday party. Remember how he said he wanted a set of wheels and, and Sam said, well, uh, what about a 16-wheeler on account of he was 16? Hi, Sam. Did you ever testify for Judge Capaletti that she have to spend a night in jail under indictment? Maybe I better quit lying behind. Oh, he already wait. But you know me. Jake. I am you. What do you mean you are me? I mean, I remember everything about us. I remember getting to know Danny again a a after the freezer, busting tech lords. <laughs> the cute way Nika smiles when she's holding information. I I'll tell her you said so. Hey, what about when I was mugged? You remember that? Yes, yeah, sort of. Two guys blindsided me. I mean, you. I, I mean, they, they dragged us inside. We knocked one down. And... It's OK, it's OK. You don't have to remember. Tell us how you know all this. Sure. I'm a memory bank. Oh. Well, how does that work? The C3J memory transfer unit requires a human wetware storage bank to be fully operational. My humble self serves as that reservoir. <laughs> Other people store their memories in your brain. Amazing, Mr. Memory. At your service. That couldn't be much fun. <laughs> I liked it all right at the beginning. I was chosen for the job because I got, I got total recall. Maybe you, you, you've seen my act at the Nightside Theater. The amazing Mr. Memory. The amazing Mr. Memory, remember? A penny invested 2,000 years ago would now be worth a gold ball the size of a lunar orbit. Well, anyway, <clears throat> I started not liking it. Being a storage bank for the C3J, I mean, there were some memories that I didn't want to store. I didn't want, I didn't want, I didn't want to have. They were scary. Make them go away! It's okay, it's okay, you don't have to remember. Yeah. Yes, I do. Hardy, listen to me, listen to me. Why do they want to store my memory inside of you? You're Jake Cardigan. And, and some people find that exciting. Remember the time that guy locked us in the house with the bomb? Kaboom! Whoa! But then we lost Beth, didn't we? That hurt so much that she was gone. That's, that's not why they want Jake's memories, though. They want Jake because He's Jake. Jake knows. Jake knows what? Jake knows the little picture. The little picture. That makes the big picture. That makes the big money. That makes the big man. Who's the big man? Huh? You never touch us like that, mate. It's a private thing, touching his. And touching his, as touching does. <laughs> <laughs> So he starts out with a memory act because he's got total recall. Oh, it makes sense to use a guy like that as a data storage bank. You don't need those. Sure I do. Anyway, why don't we check out the Nightside Theater first, okay? You work there, maybe they know something. Yeah. You know, it could be that somebody found a way to turn his performance into a big-time profit. Sharing my inner life hardly fits that bill. He must know something valuable. Yeah, but the point is, I can't remember it. Already has that memory now.
Anybody here? Hi. I'm Jenny. Can I help you? my entrance oh I'm sorry uh, it's just uh, this place looks so familiar I it's a, a deja vu oh you, you've probably been to Carnegie Hall a lot of people mix us up with them is the manager here that would be me manager star head usher and when Francine forgets to show up I make the espresso better than Carnegie Hall espresso I've heard they come here to train so what can I do for you? Um, tell us about Artie Mack. We're just looking for some information, hopefully to help. What's he done? Nothing wrong. He just can't remember something we need to find out. Artie can't not remember. We're afraid he's been overloaded with information. It's like he... Short-circuiting. I knew this would happen. This is that Dr. Lee's fault, isn't it? Who's Dr. Lee? Artie was a, a subject of his in some kind of memory experiment. Artie changed after he started working there. He got so I hardly knew him anymore. But you used to know him well, right? I wish I could forget him. Well, he still feels very strongly about you. Well, he hasn't made his presence felt around here much lately. You'd be surprised. Yes, Mr. Cardigan, you had a question. Is it possible that when I downloaded my memories into Artie, that I uploaded some of his memories at the same time? Quite possible. The technology's far from perfect, and data can bleed easily in both directions. So why can't I just pull up his memories at will? Artie's memory is eidetic. He has the rare genetic trait of total information retrieval, a gift which is now delaying his deterioration. So you're saying that I can't remember what I want the way he can? I'm afraid you're like the rest of us, Mr. Cardigan. Memories must be evoked, and rather imperfectly at that. Thanks. I'm not perfect. I give you a six, 6.5 on a good day. Tough house. Tough broad. Paul Cardigan to County Hospital. Hardy was there. Good. I'll send some of the boys to pick him up. Where's Cardigan now? Uh, he went to the theater and then he left. Hmm. I think we can assume the girl mentioned Dr. Lee. And Cardigan is cop enough to find a good doctor's place. You want me to grab him there? You need to visit Dr. Lee anyway, don't you? I love visiting. Check out Lee's office. Oh, great. Looks like our welcoming committee was after a little more than just us, huh? Lee's research, probably. Nika said he was a memory expert. He's got to be the key to the device. Huh. 
key to the whole puzzle. No Lee, no way to get my memory back from Artie. Jake. Bad news, guys. Artie's been kidnapped from a hospital. From a locked ward? Yeah, they shot their way in, killed an orderly, five patients escaped. It's a mess. Which means with Dr. Lee here dead, we've got no leads. Lee was killed? Yeah. Any more info on Dr. Lee? One interesting item. He treated a lot of ex-cons coming out of the freezer. Maybe that's it. He may be some guy who was doing cold time. Couldn't remember a heist that he was trying to pull. Or one that he did pull. That doesn't make any sense, Jake. Yeah, well, it does if you were in cryo, because you lose little pieces of your memory. That doesn't explain why they're after you. Well, you don't exactly lose the memories. You share them with the other inmates that are in your cell block. Yeah, that's right. They're all linked by the same neurometabolic support system. So you're telling me that you're holding recollections of somebody else's crime? Right. Somebody that I did cold time with. Nika, get me a list of all the inmates that were in my cell block. And I want a list of their criminal activity. That is not exactly a short list. Just get it. And then we'll look at the list, and then we'll see how many of them were treated by Dr. Lee. Take it easy, Jake. That's going to narrow the list down a little bit. Jake! Jake! Nika, get a medic over here now! Jake! Jake! <laughs> for me and my cellmates? I'm still working on it. Prison records are tricky, but so far all the inmates that have been released seem to be dead. Seem to be? Well, I'm checking out the details. So where do we go next? Back to Artie. He knows it all. Jake, we've got every available agent out looking for him now. As soon as we find him... No, no. The Artie in here. Oh, and how do we find him? I don't understand what you want from me. I've got some of Artie's memories. I think maybe you can bring them out. Is he okay? I don't know. I hope I can find him in time to help. I told you I just want to forget about him. I have a life. And you're telling me that Artie's not part of it? What do you want me to do? All right. Okay. All I want you to do is just talk to me. I mean, just, just try to, try to bring up some old business. Uh, Last time we saw each other, what you were wearing, what I was wearing. You know, smile the way you smiled at me. You're not him. He was a gentle man with gentle dreams. The amazing Mr. Memory. Remembers. 31,359,000 seconds per year and uh, now. Marks the birth second, the greatest Jenny in the galaxy. Believe me, he's in here. Think back to the last time. Come on, you're an actress. Take on the role. You were so sweet. You brought me a, a wildflower bouquet. I couldn't help crying. And you told me not to cry. You wanted to start over. Can we start over? It was almost like it was before. Then it was different. You were different, like you were someone else. You even talked uglier. 
But the way you were holding your head, I thought it was going to explode. And then I then you tore, tore down, down the poster, poster of, of the amazing of Mr. Memory. Mr. Memory. I didn't want to. I love that poster. kidnapped Jake and I had to hold on to his memories too. They were so hard to hold. The noise, it's just, the noise. God, I could just feel it in my bones. The noise of death, it's driving me crazy. I've got too many people inside of my head. Drain some of them off. Stop the screams. I just hope you got the last fragment from Jake, the piece that completes the puzzle. I can't take this much longer. Hey, now, if you got what I needed from Carnegie, we're home free. Now, tell me, where is the stuff hidden? I, I, can't, I can't think. And now presenting the amazing Mr. Memory. How do you do? Where's my treasure? Are there any questions from the audience? Yes, I have one. Who played gatekeeper for the Cubana Rebels in the playoffs of 06? Bill Dunn also voted Cyberball MVP in that game. Bravo, Mr. Memory! Now here's another. Where did Hermano Lobo stash the ill-gotten goods from his last heist? I, I, I don't... I, Mr. Memory... No. I guess you'd tell me if you knew. Hermano Lobo is definitely on the long list of cons that you did cold time with. He hijacked a solid rocket fuel delivery. To use for what? Resale, probably. It's worth about a zillion credits on the black market. He stashed the fuel someplace, nobody ever found it, and it made your unsolved crimes list. So maybe that is it. Maybe when he was in cryo, he lost the memory of where he hid the stuff. And you're holding that memory? Piece of it. Okay, Hermano Lobo means Brother Wolf. Any aliases cross-reference to that? No. But what would you say if I told you that a new pool hall just opened called Brother Wolf's? Say, so give me the address. I should have realized I didn't have to find you. You'd find me. I 
know you. You're the lowlife scum that killed all those people. Save your stash. That's my memory, brain stain. You don't even know who you are anymore. <laughs> Sorry, Jake. He's been wanting to do that ever since you did it to him. So what are you going to do now, huh? You're going to vacuum the rest of my mind so you can get the fuel location? I'm impressed, Jake. How did you find that out? you kidding me. This is a freezer reunion, all in Artie's head. Yes, well, I think shared experiences really bond people. I'm sorry, Jake. I never meant this to happen. Don't worry about it, Artie. It's all right. That's so touching. Now, Artie, I want you to remember the hijacking. Make it a beacon for Jake's brain spill. I don't think I can. Yes, you can. Where'd you learn to fight like that? From you. Hey, what took you so long to make your play, huh? I was just about to say goodbye to some very fond memories. Jake, we can get them all back now. We've got Artie in the memory transfer device. Artie. What's the deal? Everybody wants a piece of Artie, don't they, mate? No, it's one me. You keep the rest. I don't want the rest! Take it easy, will you? Just take it easy. Come on, we're gonna put you back together again. We're gonna sit you down in that chair, we'll make a switch. Liar. <laughs> Hello, Artie. What is this place? You spent a lot of time here once. It was our place. Who are you? I'm Jenny. What do you want? I want to help you. You like all the rest? You're making me crazy. You're trying to steal my mind. I won't let you know. I don't even know you. Go. You know me? Look at my face. Feel the air in here? It's musty. <laughs> Remember we had the windows painted shut. I'll take care of you. You're safe with me. I need that memory device. You leave him alone. I've got to get to that rocket fuel before Lobo does, or a lot of people are going to get hurt. What has that got to do with me? It's the only way that Artie's going to be himself again. 
you take back your memories, that's going to heal him. I don't know. Who are you doing this for, him or you? Both of us. And believe me, it's the only chance we've got. You can try it, but I will not let you hurt him anymore. All right. Artie, you remember me? Artie? You remember. He starts hurting, I'll pull the plug. All right. Come on, Artie, we're gonna do this together, okay? Take it easy, easy, easy. You die, Sid. There's one of your memories for you. That hurt. But I'll take it. We both have to give and take, Artie. But we're lost. The amazing Mr. Memory remembers. You didn't let Sid die. You wanted him to die. You never committed to that relationship. Never. You didn't commit to Beth. If you were committed to her, you would have never pushed her into the arms of another guy. And you sent your only son to prep school. For who, Jake? For him or for you? Yeah. Easier to be a flashy hero, isn't it, than a consistent father? It's the truth, Jake. Think about it. You gotta commit to something, Jake. You gotta commit to something. To forget how to love while you were in cryo? You're a loser, man. You're a loser. Well, what's the matter? You don't like your one-man show? You gotta take the good with the bad, Artie. You gotta wanna see everything. Otherwise, you'll never be whole. So here's one for you. Free of charge. All you gotta do is accept it. Artie, you've come back. What kind of trick is this? Oh, I'm so glad. I've missed you. you bring me a wildflower bouquet? Oh, you sweet man. She loves you. Don't cry, Jenny. Can we start over? She's not yours yet, Artie. We gotta give back each other's memories first. It hurts. Not as much as losing a piece of your life. Each memory is a, it's a precious gift. I know this place. <laughs> Jenny. <sighs> How are you doing, partner? Oh. oh. <sighs> I think I'm all here. Hey, have we met before? Forget about it.
Listen, once you get those two back to Cosmos for protection, I'm gonna go to the Danzer Distillery. Yeah, and if I'm right, we'll rename it the Danzer Fuel Burn. Yeah. looking for? If you knew where the place was, then what'd you need my memory for? I didn't know. I injected a homing device into you back at Brother Wolf's. I just followed you here. That makes my job easier. Don't even try it. You know, your shot goes a little wide. Here at Allway in Cleveland. Lobo. This place is wired and set to blow. Thanks for the tips, Cardigan. Or you're just being exposed right now. Come on, you rigged an order destruct and it's on. What's the matter? Did you forget? Check the control panel if you don't believe me. Try to remember. It's right over there. Very smart, Cardigan. Announcing your position. I'll try to announce it sooner next time. Let's get the hell out of here. Come on. Come on. Move it. Move it. Come on. Keep going. Let's go! You go, fool! I'm gonna get what's mine! to Brother Wolf's same afternoon. And the memory device was destroyed? Yep. Like somebody took a sledgehammer to it. Yeah, me. Hey, Artie, hey. <laughs> Looking good. He's feeling good, too. So I guess the amazing Mr. Memory's up and running again, huh? I retired the act. Jenny's hired me on as a set builder, though. Turns out I like working with my hands. Thank you for finding him. He had to want to come home. So, uh, are you having any trouble carrying other people's thoughts? Well, when bad ones bubble up now, I just stick them in the memory of that fuel vat, and the amazing Mr. Memory remembers... no more. <laughs> Want one? Yeah, sure. 